Hey Guardians, welcome back, it's Dr. Slev here. I wanna talk about a really cool new pulse rifle that dropped with the Witch Queen, the Peace of Mind Pulse Rifle. Now this thing is absolutely insane. It is a 540 RPM kinetic pulse rifle. You don't have to do anything special to get this drop. It drops as a world drop. Also, you can get it from Umbral Decoding at the helm. One of the best things about this pulse rifle is that it's also craftable. Once you have attuned, I believe five of these, you get the option to craft your very own at the Enclave. Now, why do I like this pulse rifle so much? Typically in PVP, especially, I'm kind of a hand cannon enjoyer. Those are my go-to weapons. I just have fun using them. I don't use pulse rifles too much, but this one stuck out. This thing is a laser beam. I know it's a 540 pulse and not a 340 like some of the other highly used pulses in the Crucible, such as No Time to Explain or The Messenger, but this thing, you just don't miss. You're not gonna do quite as much damage per shot, but you're gonna have basically no recoil. So we hop over to d2gunsmith.com, let's look at possible rolls and base stats for this rifle. So base stats you can see here on your screen, drops at 23 impact, 38 range, 51 stability, 34 handling, etc., etc. The recoil direction is a 58, so it does kind of go up and to the right a little bit, but like I said, the recoil on this gun is so minimal that that's not even a big deal. It has a pretty generous magazine size at 35 as well. But really the biggest downfall of the base stats of this weapon is its handling. It's a little low, so the ADS speed's a little low, but you equip a pulse rifle dexterity mod or a targeting adjuster, and that really doesn't matter anymore. So how do you want to build this? If you're crafting your own, or what kind of drops are you looking for out in the world? So generally the top tier barrel for pulse rifles is the arrowhead break and that's because the recoil direction gets changed and it becomes a slightly more vertical recoil direction as you can see here however with this pulse rifle and the recoil being so minimal i'm going to deviate away from that for my perfect roll and i'm going to suggest something like corkscrew rifling that gives you a little bit of range a little bit of stability and a little bit of handling as well if you're not big into corkscrew rifling and looking for something with maybe just a little more range to it with no negatives, you're gonna definitely want hammer forge rifling, plus nine range, no drawbacks. So me personally, hammer forge rifling is in my god roll. So what's next? We have our magazines here. Now this is mainly a PVP focused build, so we're gonna wanna stick with the round type of magazines. So that's gonna be your armor piercing, your high caliber, or your ricochet. Ricochet is your best bang for your buck. You get a plus four range and a plus nine stability out of it. Secondarily, a lot of people really like armor piercing. However, in PvP, I would say go with high caliber over armor piercing if you can. Reason being, high caliber rounds increase the amount of flinch that you do per shot. So you're on the receiving end of somebody with high caliber rounds, your gun is jumping all over the place. Which means when you're in a duel with this pulse rifle, high caliber rounds hitting your opponent, they are gonna have a harder time on their follow-up shots and you're gonna be more likely to win those duels. So the perfect roll, ricochet, a second close perfect high caliber followed by armor piercing here. What's next? So our perk columns, third and fourth perk columns. Now this is where the gun isn't incredible. There's not a ton of great PVP perks, but there are some that you can use to build a PVP monster. On the third row columns here, I'm looking at perpetual motion. As long as you're in motion, you get better stability, better handling, and better reload. Those are huge perks to have in a dueling pulse rifle. If you don't want perpetual motion or you can't get that drop or you can't craft it, heating up is probably a good second best PVP perk in this column, um, but it does only proc on a final blow, whereas perpetual motion procs as long as you're moving. And then overflow is probably the third best perk in this column because picking up special ammo or heavy ammo is going to overload the magazine. So you can get up to 80, almost 100 rounds per magazine, which is kind of nice to have in PVP because it means you don't really ever have to reload. So if you can't get perpetual motion or heating up, overflow is a solid choice as well. All right, on to the fourth column here. Now this is where it gets interesting because there are actually a few decent perks here. Let's start with the newest perk, Focused Fury. So this does, if you don't know what this is, this was just introduced dealing half of the magazine as precision damage grants this weapon bonus damage. So that's pretty nice, especially on a pulse rifle that has nearly zero recoil. You're going to be hitting a lot of precision shots that shouldn't be too hard to proc. However, if you're not super confident in your precision shot ability or you reload a lot and you won't ever drop half the magazine without reloading, you're gonna to wanna to look at moving target. Fantastic perk in this column. Gives you 3% reduced movement speed penalty from ADS and strafing, and you get a plus 10 aim assist passively at all times. 
which is really nice for hitting those headshots, especially at range. Next perk I would recommend one that I'm going to be looking for or crafting myself is going to be Vorpal. Vorpal makes this not only a great PVE pulse rifle, but it also shuts Guardians out of their supers very fast. You're hitting nothing but headshots and you're doing it very quickly, doing extra damage. Like I said earlier, also a great PVE perk. Now, the last perk I really want to touch on here is Adrenaline Junkie. Always a decent PVP perk. Gives you a little bit of extra damage and handling. As I said earlier, handling is a little low on this weapon. So rocking Adrenaline Junkie gonna give you about 20 extra handling. Gonna come in handy for those quick ADS follow-ups. And then an honorable mention in this column is gonna be your elemental capacitor. If you're just looking to stat boost this gun and you're not looking for perks that really give you a huge advantage in PVP after a kill or just overall something like moving target, Elemental Capacitor, not bad if you're going to run predominantly a Stasis class or a Void class as a secondary. Void is going to increase stability, which isn't really something that you need with this gun, but Void 3.0 is out, super popular. Not going to be a bad choice to run with this gun if you do have a Void build you like. Stasis is going to control your recoil a little bit and increase your movement speed when ADSing. This is great for dueling, side strafing in and out, and just bouncing around cover while you take shots. And then last but not least, the origin trait on this, not incredible for PvP, more of a PvE origin trait really, called land tank. Final blows of this weapon grant increased resilience and additional damage resistance from combatants. You might survive an extra shot from a low impact gun in PvP with this if you have this perk proc, but it's not really going to be something that you notice a whole lot saving your life. So I choose to kind of disregard the origin trait on this rifle, but everything else about it makes it so good. It's just an absolute laser beam, fast fire rate, super easy to hit headshots, super easy to spray transfer to other targets, and a very solid perk selection as well. So my ideal build is going to look something like this. And so you can look at the stats here with the hammer, forged rifling, ricochet, perpetual motion, and vorpal. My secondary build would probably look something like this. Just switch out Vorpal for moving target, kind of depending on how you play and what you do. So that doesn't really change the base stats at all. It just changed what I can proc in there, but this thing would be an absolute PVP shredder. Now on to Masterwork, what are you looking for here? I said you don't really need stability. I would go range or handling. Handling probably number one, range number two. And the reason I say that is that master working to a total of 10 range brings your damage fall off up to 37.88 meters when ADS versus 36.53 meters when ADS without a range masterwork. So you're gaining about 1.3 meters in range with this, which is roughly one step in game, a little bit over one step in game. So not an insane gain for a range masterwork. When you can have something like handling go up quite a bit, which would make this a little easier to use, especially if you get caught off guard and need that quick ADS. So if you're a PVE player and you want to use this weapon, what kind of role should you be looking for? First off, you're going to want a reload speed masterwork. Always good to have those quick reloads. The barrel is not going to matter a huge amount on PVE. With this gun, you're going to be looking more towards the traits. So what kind of traits are you going to want? Overflow is a fantastic trait for PVE. You get an incredibly large mag size as long as you're picking up special ammo. So if you have a special ammo finder mod on for your secondary shotgun or something like that, you're basically never going to have to reload. Um, compulsive reloader, I don't really like for this because it is a pulse rifle. And I personally tend to go through magazine very, very fast. If it was a hand cannon or something where you take a couple shots, maybe reload, a uh, compulsive reloader makes more sense. I'd avoid it on this one. Overflow, much better. Perpetual motion, always solid here. Stats for all, always solid here. Hitting three targets, boost basically everything about the weapon. Never a bad roll there. Your fourth column traits for PVE. Vorpal is pretty much going to be your end all be all. If you can get a Vorpal drop on this pulse rifle, you'll be set for PVE content. Jump back real quick, what kind of mag should you be looking for? Extended mags are always good. Not really necessary if you get an overflow mod though. So honestly, I would stick to either armor piercing, high caliber ricochet rounds. Flared magwell, also really solid. Little bit faster reload speed than what you get with light mag but you lose the range and increase for stability. And like I said, stability on this isn't super important because it's already such a beam of a weapon. All right, guys, that pretty much covers my build guide on the peace of mind. Let me know if you've tried this gun out, if you like it, if you think you're gonna be running it in PVP or PVE content, and what kind of build you're really looking for. I'm interested to know kind of where the community sits with this. I know the 540 pulse rifles don't get a lot of love because they don't hit quite as hard as the 340s do. But this thing is just so much fun to play with. You have to give it a try if you get a good roll. And let me know what you think about it. 
You can always chat with me live on Twitch every Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday at twitch.tv forward slash Dr. Slev. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to the video if it helped you out, and I'll catch you guys next time.